and welcome to careerright.com. In this video, we will be dealing with problems on simplifications. We will be touching up 5 different kind of problems in this video and by the end of this video you would be in a comfortable position when you would be dealing with the questions from this chapter in an exam conducted by a bank, a government body or a B school. Now let's approach the first question that is 567 plus 139 whole square minus 567 minus 139 whole square and in denominator it is 567 into 139. So you can see two common things 567 and 139 all through the question. You would not go on and solve this question by calculating. It would be a very tedious process. So what you would do here is you will replace 567 by x and 139 by y. So it will come up to x plus y square minus x minus y square. So x plus y square when opened it would be x square plus y square plus 2x square. And as we know that x minus y square is x square plus y square minus 2xy. But because of this minus, when multiplied in such, so it would become minus x square minus y square plus 2xy. And uh, in the denominator, it would be x into y. So in numerator, x square and minus x square would be cancelled. Then y square and minus y square would be cancelled. And 2xy plus 2xy would go on and become 4xy. So in denominator it is xy so 4xy upon xy comes up to 4 that is the answer second question aman has 390 in the denominations of 1 rupee 2 rupee and 10 rupee notes the number of notes of each denomination is equal what is the total number of notes that aman has now we don't know uh, the number of the nodes of each denomination so we would assume it as x and uh, all the uh, nodes are equal number all the number of nodes are equal so we will take it take it as x single value so for 1 rupee denomination it would be x for 2 rupee de denomination it would be 2x and for 10 rupee denomination it would be 10x which counts up the total to 390 which Aman has in his position so it would go up to 13x when added 390 then x is equal to 30 we'll get now the total number of nodes are equal for every denomination and 30 is the number of the nodes of one denomination so there are one rupee nodes two rupee nodes and three rupee nodes three kind of nodes so 3 into 30 it would become 90 now question number three the price of eight pencils is equal to that of four pens the price of 12 pencil and 2 pen together is rupees 400. The total price of 15 pencil and 7 pen is now it is given in the question that the price of 8 pencil is equal to 4 pen. So what we will do here is we will assume the cost of pencil and pen be x and y respectively. So according to the statement given in question it would be 8x is equal to 4y just because 8 pencil is equal to 4 pen. So from here we will get y is equal to 2x. Now. The second line says the price of 12 pencil and 2 pen together is 400. So 12 pencil 12x plus 2 pen 2y is equal to 400. Now we will put y as 2x as given in here. So 12x plus 2x is equal to 400. We can easily calculate the value of x which would come up to x is equal to 25. Now y is equal to 2x and we know that x is equal to 25. So we will get y is equal to 50. Now, what is he asking? He is asking the total price of 15 pencil and 7 pen is a 15 pencil and 7 pen would be 15x plus 7y. We know the value of x, we know the value of y. So, placing the value, we get the answer as 675. Now, question number 4. The sum of 770 has to be divided among Anupam, Bhavik and Chama. Such that Anupam get 2 by 5 of what Bhavik gets and Bhavik get 1 by 3 of what Chaman gets. Now what would be the Bhavik share? So we'll assume the Chaman share to be x. Then uh, Bhavik share that is b. We have denoted here Bhavik as b. So Bhavik share would be x by 3 as Bhavik gets 1 by 3 of Chaman. Now Anupam share a share would be 2 by 5 of what Bhavik share. Now Anupam gets 2 by 5 of what Bhavik gets. So 2 by 5 into x by 3 that would be 2x by 15. 
Now we have everyone's share in the in terms of x and we know that the total amount of money is 770. So x plus x by 3 plus 2x by 15 would be 770. We can easily calculate the value of x from here. We get the x is 525. Now what they are asking is they are asking Bhavik share. So Bhavik share is x by 3. So we'll divide x by 3 to get the value of Bhavik share that would be 525 by 3, 175. Now last question. To fill a tank of 40 buckets of water, how many buckets of water will be required to fill the same tank if the capacity of the bucket is reduced to 4 by 7 of its present? Now, as, as said in the first sentence that to fill a tank, 40 buckets of water is required. So, let the capacity of one bucket be x, then if it is filling a tank when 40 buckets are poured into it, so it would be 40x. Now the capacity of big bucket is 4 by 7, made 4 by 7, so it would be 4 by 7x. Then we know that the capacity of tank still is 40x, but the capacity of bucket now is 4x by 7 in place of x. So the required number of bucket would be 40x divided by 4x by 7. So 40x divided by 4x, the 7 will go up, multiplied by 40x into 7, that by 4x, 70 would be the answer. The number of buckets required to fill the tank with the new capacity would be 70. Now these are the five kind of questions which can be asked from this chapter. I hope this video would prove useful to you. Thank you.